My name is Kieran Kennedy, Education and Training Officer for Westminster Ambulance Service NHS Trust. Today I'm going to be talking you through the history taking model and I'm going to be assisted by my colleague Aaron who's going to be a simulated patient for us today. The history taking module looks at nine subsections and we're going to be talking through each of those as we go through the process of this history take. Your history taking starts off with your normal smart approach, your general observations and your introduction to the patient. Good morning sir, my name is Kieran from the Ambulance Service, what's your name? It's Aaron. Hi Aaron, nice to meet you. Um, I believe you've called Trouble 9 today, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what seems to be the problem? I've just got this chest pain, it's quite sharp. Okay, alright. Um, um, at this moment in time, are you okay if I just grab a seat and take a seat Yeah, down? please, yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Okay. No, I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Okay, so it was Aaron you said? Yeah, A-R-O-N. Okay, and how old are you please? 32. 32. <clears throat> Right, Alan, what I want to do then is, if I can, just get a little bit more history about what's been happening. Yeah. All right. Now, I've started off my initial presentation. My primary survey identifies that his airway is clear, he's breathing, he doesn't appear to be having any distinctive shortness of breath, and circulation, well, he looks a good colour, he's alert, and he's sitting there talking to me. At this moment in time, I'm just <coughs> going to get a little bit more history before I get my basic uh, underlying physiological readings. So Aaron, you said you've got some chest pain. Tell me a little bit more about that, if you can, please. Yeah, it's just been been probably the last day or two. It's quite sharp. <clears throat> Wife said just to, to give you guys a call. I was I was quite happy just to, to carry on as normal. Okay. You know what women are like. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do if I can <clears throat> is I'm just going to take your pulse. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. That's brilliant. So relax there for me. Okay, so I've identified my primary survey. My pulse is 76 and his respirate is 16. Those are normal physiological parameters for me. As I've previously identified, he looks a good colour and he's fully alert. <coughs> so, we're now going to take a little bit more history in regards to the current medical history and we're going to use the analogy of old cards. So, Aaron, I mean, you said the onset was two days ago? Yes. Okay, and this pain, whereabouts exactly is it? It's just sort of in my chest. Okay, yeah. so it's located, in, you're holding more towards the left there, would you say it's sort of central to left? Yeah, just there, but they're generalised. Okay. And this pain, does it come and go in duration, or is it continuously there for the last two days? Um, it's, it's a bit weird actually, if I, if I sort of lean back, it, it, I, I notice it more. Okay, um, um, and what about if you were to lean forward? Y yeah, so sort of, yeah, it's, it's a bit better, yeah. <clears throat> and is there anything else that you've identified that maybe aggravates or alleviates it? You know, if you cough for example, does that make it worse? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, yeah. what about if you take a deep breath in for me, does that make it worse as well? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what about if you would just generally move your body like that? Does that seem okay? Yeah. So I don't think it's anything muscular. Okay. So I've not really done anything. So. Okay. And this pain itself, you say it's sort of central to left. Yeah. Sharp in nature. Um, does it seem to radiate anywhere else? So do you feel it like in your neck or your jaw? No. Back. No. Arms or shoulders? No. No. Okay. And you say it's definitely a sharp pain. Yeah, it's sharp. Okay. <clears throat> it's not um, tight across your chest, not pushing down on your chest. No, no, no okay. definitely sharp. Uh, on a pain score of 1 to 10, with 1 being sort of virtually no pain, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever experienced in your life, um, where would you score it? It's probably, maybe it's a good 6. 6 at yeah. the moment. Okay, and has it always been a 6, or is it... Yeah, when I, lean, that? when I lean back... It, I know, I know it's that. You know it's yeah. worse than, okay. And so yeah. if it's currently six, as you are, if you were to lie flat now, what would you notice it would drop up to? It's probably going to go to so about an eight. Up yeah. to an eight, so they weren't flat. 
Okay, and then the other sort of associated symptoms with it, so have you had a cough? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay, and have you noticed any sort of rigors or shivers and shakes? I have actually, I've been taking some paracetamol. Okay. I felt a little bit lousy recently. Okay. It's probably just one of those winter things that are going around. All right. Um, you say uh, no cough? No, I've had a bit of a cough. Bit of yeah. a cough, sorry. Are you producing yeah. any mucus, Not any phlegm, really. nothing like that? No. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So I'm just going to ask you now some questions about your past medical history. And I'm sure we probably will come back to your current history. But are you normally fitting well? I am. Okay. I'm now just going to use <coughs> the mnemonic jam threads to ask you some questions about your history. <coughs> and they're just simple yes or no, really. Okay. Have you ever suffered with jaundice in the past? Is that the one where you go yellow? It is, yeah. No, no. no? okay. Uh, anemia or any other blood disorders? No. No. Any cancers? No. Any TB, even as a child? I had the injection at school. Okay, and that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay. Any heart disease or high blood pressure? No. no. Any rheumatic fever, even as a child? No. No rubella, no nothing like that. Okay. Rheumatoid arthritis? No. no. Any uh, emphysema or epilepsy? No. No. Any asthma or diabetes? No. No. And I've already mentioned about you not having epilepsy, but have you ever had any seizures in the past? No, I haven't. No. no. <clears throat> okay. What about childhood illnesses? Are you sort of normally fit and well as a child? You had all your vaccinations, as you're aware? Yeah, I had all my in injections. I had um, chicken pox as a kid. Okay. All kids get it? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and what about operations? Um, are there any operations? Do you know what? I, I had a tooth taken out a couple of days ago. Okay, at yeah. the dentist? Um, they sent me in for it. So okay, you yeah. went to the hospital <clears throat> for that then. Okay, what sort of tooth was it? Was it one of your... One right, right, right at the back. back? Okay, yeah. one of your wisdom teeth. Okay, and have you noticed any sort of issues with that? Not really, no. Not really, but you no. say you've had some sort of shivers and shakes over the last few days, whether that's linked in or not. Oh, it could be, yeah. Okay. yeah. Any sort of specific pain or discharge that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of, no. no. They did give me some tablets for it, though. Okay. They're yeah, just some antibiotics, just right. in case. Brilliant, I'll come on to those in a minute then. Um, so, operations, apart from your tooth extraction, <clears throat> anything else? No, nothing. Okay, and medication-wise, um, I'll come back to medication in a minute. So no ops. When was last time you saw your GP? I can't really remember to be honest. Okay. Yeah, normally quite fit and well. Normally quite. Yeah. So it was a, a fair while ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to ask any psychiatric or mental health problems I need to be aware of. No, not at all. No, nothing at all. Okay. So let's go on to meds then. So you mentioned mm -hmm. about uh, prescribed medication, which is your antibiotics. Do you know what they're called? Met, met, metronizadol or something okay. like that. Okay, all right. And are you on any other medication that's prescribed? No, I'm not, no. Okay, nothing by GP? No, no I had some paracetamol. Okay, but you've taken that? I have, yeah, this okay. morning. Any other over-the-counter medications that you've taken? I've brought some, um, some multivitamins from the chemist. Okay. Just because it's winter. Okay. And they sort of come under your homeopathic sort of... Uh, remedies. <clears throat> Do you take anything else? Anything like St. John's Wort? Best no, remedy or anything like no. that? No? Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, allergies. Any allergies to any uh, food? No. Any allergies to any medication? No. Okay, any allergies to anything from the environment? No. Any dust allergies or anything like no, that? No, nothing at all. No hay fever. Okay. <clears throat> Great stuff. Just now going to ask you a couple of questions regarding uh, your parents, if that's okay. okay. Um, are your parents still alive? They are, yes. Okay. And are they normally fit and well? They are, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and any brothers and sisters? I have, yes. Okay, what have you got? Um, I've got um, a younger brother. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to ask you some questions again mm -hmm. about those. Just simple yes or no. So, jaundice? Uh, no. 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 Um, anemia or any other blood disorders? No. Okay. Any cancers? No. TB? No. Any heart disease or high blood pressure? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. Any rubella, rheumatic fever? No. Any emphysema or epilepsy? No. No. Asthma? No. Diabetes? No. And no seizures that you're aware of? No. Okay. No. And they're still fit and yeah, well and alive? Yeah, they're still fit and well. Okay, yeah. brilliant. 
That's great stuff. I'm just going to ask you some questions now about your house and where you live and your job and everything you do outside of work. So, your habitat, is this your house here? It is, yeah. Okay. And you're normally able to look after it yourself? Yeah. Okay. What do you do for a living, Aaron? I work in education. Okay, excellent. You enjoy the job? I do, yeah. Okay, stressful? It can be, yeah. It can, it can be. be. Okay, good stuff. Um, what about recreation? What do you do in your own time? Do you like getting out and about? Yeah, I'm quite lucky. Um, I live next to Cannock Chase, so I do a lot of mountain biking. Okay, great uh, stuff. I've fell running, and I think I can play squash. Good but stuff. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, in regards to smoking or drinking? Um, I quit smoking um, whew, about six years ago. Okay. Yeah, and alcohol. I like to have a couple of beers every now and again. Okay, how many did you smoke before you quit a day, roughly? Um, probably about 10 or 15 a day. 10 to 15 a day. And have you found your health improved since you stopped smoking? My wallet's got bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. That's what <clears> you like to see. Um, what about everyday activities or holidays, trips abroad, anything like that? Uh, I like to go on holiday, but they're yeah. expensive, aren't they? They are indeed. No, I've not been since oh, last year. Okay, you've not been exposed to anything that you're aware of, no sorts of infections or anything like no, that? Nothing at all. Okay. And what about family support? Are you married? Yeah, married to two kids. Okay. Yeah. And you don't need care to look after you? No, no. No, brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, just going to ask you now some final questions. This is what's known as a systems review. Okay, so general daily lifestyle. Able to get up, get about, yeah, yeah, yeah dress, get happy, washed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. get the kids ready for school. Good. Um, you <clears> mentioned <throat> about um, shivers and shakes over the past couple of days, but nothing that stopped you going around, nothing that stopped you getting out and about. No, no, it's just sort of. Just one of those winter bugs, I think. Okay. Um, and this shortness, uh, sorry, this pain that you've got, no sort of shortness of breath with it. Really. You haven't found yourself short of breath when getting up and about. Mm, not a no? Call, no. Okay, that's brilliant. <coughs> um, no sort of loss of muscle, tone, power, balance. No. No, I just feel a bit, you know, a bit lousy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any fits, faints, blackouts, or giddy turns? No. Nothing. Any problems with your hearing or your balance? No. No. Excellent. Um, you mentioned about a cough earlier, but no sort of productive cough, no, no nothing blood, no mucus, and you mentioned about mm -hmm. shortness of breath, you've had none of that. No. No, okay. Uh, any sort of identification of palpitations in your chest? I know you've had this chest pain, but any sort of fluttering sensations, like extra beats or your heart's racing? No, no, like I said, just when I lean back. <coughs> just when you lean back? Yeah, okay. <coughs> it's a bit odd. Um, and onto your uh, abdomen, eating okay, yeah. passing bowel motions okay. Yeah. When was the last time you passed this bowel morning. motion this yeah. morning? And no indications of blood. No, nothing no. at all. Uh, urination. Yeah, all good. Okay. Yeah. Again, passing your eye frequently. No abnormal smells. No burning sensations. No, no, no discharge. No colour. Okay, good. And your limbs, all up and working and absolutely fine. Yeah, they do all right for their age. That's great. Okay, Alan, um, I think I've got most of the history I need at this moment in time. Um, what I'd like to do now is do a much more thorough in-depth assessment. Um, from the information you're telling me, um, I do believe that we've got some form of infection going on that could be related to your heart, a condition okay. known as pericarditis. Um, and simply just to identify what is actually happening, we're going to do a respiratory and a cardiovascular system exam. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Excellent, thank you.